Hello, Brandy here from Kit Guru, and I'm here on the Varmillo stand at Computex 2018. There's a lot of rather cool keyboards on offer, so I thought let's do a video of them, they're getting me excited. Um, the main crazy thing that I've seen on the stand is this keyboard. So not only is it ridiculously heavy, um, I, I can't really describe how heavy this thing is. It's just, it's a keyboard you go to pick up, you don't expect it to weigh that much. And um, yes, titanium alloy keyboard it is absolutely crazy. I think it's crazy beautiful. But if you want to buy one, $4,500 for this keyboard. <laughs> It's all well and good as you find out how much it is. This one here, a little bit more affordable, but also really quite cool. So this is the uh, Varmillo Motion keyboard. This one is uh, definitely going to be available in the UK. We only know the dollar pricing though, so this one's $170, so it's probably going to convert to about £170 with like VAT, import, etc. Um, but what's really cool about it is that it has like motion sensing so you can like change the uh, volume and then you're also able to change the RGB lighting as well. Another one here is this zinc alloy keyboard. Um, it's like this beautiful copper color. It's got this like two tone effect on the keys. This one is also incredibly heavy. So 1.8 kilograms of tiny keyboard and it's just absolutely beautiful. The whole thing has this like metal construction. It is gonna be available in the UK as well. Um, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. I, I love this keyboard. It weighs an absolute ton though. Um, it is more affordable than the titanium, but uh, uh, it's still quite expensive. We're looking at like $300. So it is one for like the real keyboard enthusiast. But I just think, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It gets me excited, I guess. Um, moving around, so that's the Varmillo stand. We're gonna move on to some more keyboards. So this here is the Ducky stand and they've got we'll start off with this keyboard here so this is the blade so it's a low profile keyboard it's using the new true mx low profile rgb switch they're only available in red so that's the linear switch and um yeah they've got this very slim design so it's more portable it is a plastic body so um yeah not not the sturdiest feeling, like a lot of ducky keyboards have the, the nice uh, metal faceplate, but it is extremely, extremely thin. It has got a bit of aluminium down the side as well. Um, but it, it feels a lot nicer than the low, other low profile keyboards that we've seen recently, uh, just because the keycaps are a little bit bigger, so it doesn't feel like a laptop keyboard. The others were quite reminiscent of laptop keyboards. Yeah, really nice, slim profile keyboard. This one's gonna be available um, quarter four, maybe next year. Um, and we're looking at like $160, so that's gonna convert to pounds. Moving around the other side, this is the new Shine 7. So the Shine 7, it's got this really nice uh, zinc alloy faceplate. Um, and the design on the side, it's got this sort of like angular design. It's once again a really heavy keyboard, even though it has actually got a uh, plastic underneath. So plastic underneath, zinc alloy faceplate, PBT keycaps, and mechanical keys. So this one I think has the red switches, but it's also going to be available with blue switches, uh, brown switches, black switches, and also the silver speed switches as well. So yeah, five different switch options, really nice. Um, the Shine 7 is going to be the keyboard that they're doing for their uh, limited edition, um, and it's going to be Year of the Dog. And if we just move round to the front of the stand. So this keyboard here is the uh, Ducky Year of the Dog Edition. So they've been running this thing for quite a few years now. Um, so it's basically a limited edition keyboard. So 2018, there's 2018 of them available. Um, they've worked alongside this famous tattoo artist. Uh, Michael Shannon, he's designed the keyboard. It's got this very uh, 
interesting design. The uh, font on the keycaps is really quite unique. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. It's really different. It might not be for everyone, but if you're someone that's like a keyboard enthusiast, a keyboard collector, um, yeah, I do really think it's something quite special. Uh, yeah, so it's the Shine 7 is the body, so it's the same as the keyboard we've just seen. Um, it is gonna be a little bit more expensive though, obviously, so the other one, $160, this is getting more up towards like the $200 price point. Um, but yeah, a really, really beautiful keyboard, uh, something definitely for the collectors. So that was the Ducky stand and the Varmillo stand at Computex 2018. The new Shine 7 keyboard, the new Blade low profile keyboard. Yeah, really nice keyboards. Ducky always does well, PVD keycaps, really good build quality, um, reasonable price. Um, and yeah, also that really beautiful Year of the Dog keyboard as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button and there's also a bell icon on there as well so you can get a notification of whenever a new video goes live.